Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Steve, and I'm a guitar player from New Jersey. And as I've been collecting vinyl, I've been kind of revisiting a lot of the music that got me A, into music in the first place, and then what kind of inspired me to pick up a guitar. And I finally have those six or seven records that kind of defined me as a guitar player. And I wanted to share them with you and just kind of go into them real quick and talk a little bit about these records. So to get right into it, the first record for me uh, in 1977 that I heard that was my uncle's that kind of got me started was this one. Um, Kiss Rock and Roll Over was probably the the record that, A, the cover, it's my favorite cover, maybe except for Love Gun, um, but this record was just so cool as a little kid, and then I saw them on the Halloween special, and this was the first record, actually the first record that I owned uh, was Sweet Fox on the Run 45, and it was because I thought it was Kiss. So, you know, I was in kindergarten, what can I say? Uh, but this record, you know, what can you say? Love them and leave them, making love, hard luck woman, I want you. This was the first record. And I wasn't interested, I didn't know what a guitar was, I just knew that this was cool and this was something that I wanted to be a part of. Um, as I kind of grew up a few years later, I think it was like maybe three or four years later, this record it changed everything for me. I actually um, saw the MTV concert but it was exit, it was exit stage left, but it was moving pictures. It was the record that I went and got, um, Kmart in my town and, uh, you know, Tom Sawyer, Witch Hunt, uh, Camera Eye, still incredible tunes, still inspirational. What can you say? Uh, Alex, Neil and Getty, uh, just you know, this is essential for anybody. These are, I feel like, are essential rock records. You need to have these. Uh, maybe a couple more years later, and now I'm actually fiddling around on guitar a little bit. Iron Maiden, Power Slave. Now, I'd heard Iron Maiden, and um, I actually had uh, Number of the Beast and Peace of Mind, but it wasn't until Ace is High that I was like, I have to learn. So this record technically was the one that inspired me to play guitar. This was the one that I wanted to be able to go like, all right, I need to do this. Um, and it wasn't so difficult to play. Like Power Slave was really the one and I had hooked up with some guys um, that were in another uh, town and we jammed a bunch of times. And yeah, we would play Iron Maiden and Kiss songs, but this record really kind of was the one that made me uh, put me over the top as a regular, you know, taking lessons, playing in bands. Power Slave definitely did it for me. Around the same time, this record came along, 1987. And Whitesnake completely changed everything. It was like, at this point, I was playing a little bit. Um, I was able to kind of figure stuff out. I had a guitar teacher. Uh, and, and I was learning little bits and pieces of, of tunes and... This was the first time we actually were doing Crying in the Rain as well with this little band um, at the time. And so this record uh, had all the solos that I wanted to learn, whereas Power Slave was probably more riffs and, um, you know, tunes. This was like a little more granular. I was really getting into soloing and putting everything together. This record still rules. I still listen to this record and I still marvel at how great John Sykes is. Uh... This is kind of like a 1A and 1B, but like around the same time, this record came out with Joe and Turner. And again, I had heard Ingve. I, you know, just it didn't connect with me yet. Um, but this one did for some reason. Rising Force, Hold On, Heaven Tonight, Dreaming, Deja Vu, Crystal Ball. All the songs in this record just crushed. I think Joe and Turner was what did it for me because I loved him in that uh, uh, that Rainbow record, the first, uh, or the, actually the second one that he did with Stone Cold, uh, that record was awesome as well. But this record really just completely made me practice for hours upon hours every day. And once I kind of got the Ingve bullet, it was not too much longer when this came along. 
Racer X. Paul Gilbert, uh, once Paul Gilbert kind of entered my vocabulary, it was really, that's kind of where I feel like I am today and, and you know, mixed with the stuff that I listen to, the jazz and the fusion. But really, Paul Gilbert, um, Second Heat, uh, I still practice Paul Gilbert licks. I still warm up to them. I'll still occasionally try to figure out Paul Gilbert solos and Bruce solos. And um, it's still technically far beyond what I can do. And uh, it's still a lot of fun and it's still a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, this one is probably the most dated sounding out of all the records that I have in my hand. But, um, you know, for whatever, you know, whatever I can say, Racer X is always going to be you know, when I have those 10 records that defined who I was as a kid and as a musician and where I went, definitely second he. And then the last one, um, I kind of rounded up the 90s, or I'm sorry, the 80s for me into the 90s, uh, Eric Johnson. Uh, this particular record, Tones, um, as well as Avia Musicom, were the two records. Once I started getting an Eric Johnson, I was getting into playing more linearly. Um, I was also playing more intervallically and more with finger picking. Um, and to this day, I'm still probably, I would say Eric Johnson out of all these guitar players is probably my favorite and um, probably still work on, you know, trying to figure out Eric Johnson licks probably more than any of the other players, maybe John Sykes um, to this day. But Eric Johnson is just special. He has just this incredible I mean obviously the tone but he has this incredible feel he has the chops he has the great songs this record and a VM Musicom absolutely changed my life so just thought I would share a little bit of a fun Thursday video with y'all and uh, these were some of the biggest records for me in the 80s that inspired me uh, to pick up a guitar and love music these are mine